Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, you guys, first of all, I just have to say a huge thank you. I'm probably going to say your name wrong, but to Azari Shepard, you had a great idea. I've been doing reviews of And Just Like That, and they asked me to review the read the reviews of the movies. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start out with the first... Sex and the City movie from 2008, and then we are going to jump over to Sex and the City 2, and you guys are going to want to hang around to hear those reviews because, wow, I'm so excited to get into it. Let's talk about the reviews. Before we jump into it, I did want to let you know I have a Patreon now, so check that out, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recap, and you'll find my logo, and you'll find us. So take a look at that, see if it works out. The first episode's free, you can watch it here on YouTube. After that, you can check them out on Patreon. We're doing the original Sex and the City series. So to jump in, let's start with the first Sex and the City movie. IMDb is showing a rating of 5.7 out of 10. Okay, so... Right out of the gate, I got to start with something positive. A lot, not a lot. (laughs) Some people are rating it an 8 out of 10, saying, hey, it's Carrie and her friends on the big screen. It's a fun romantic comedy film adaptation of, you know, the characters we know and love. So this is where I want your comments below. What would you rate this movie? Did you feel the same way? Did you think it was a fun adaptation? I'm very curious. So the next review, again, 8 out of 10. That seems to be the consensus out of people that really liked it. Best chick flick of summer 2008. I'd like to know what the other contenders are. Fans of the HBO chick flick TV series Sex and the City won't find anything terribly surprising about the new feature-length film. It was good, not great. It was more like an extended episode of the series, if you ask me. But that's my opinion. I'm curious about yours. All right, let's get into the good stuff. This person gave it a 6 out of 10, which is kind of a high rating. I'm surprised, but what a painful experience. I kind of love this person because she or he admits that they use the comment system to remember which movies they saw. And they they say that they block out the memory of uh, other movies, of painful experiences and stuff, and possibly this one. Another funny title says, I need to watch more TV. So this person decided to comment because they've never seen the original show. And I got to think, like, it's probably not a great movie if you've never seen the original show because again I felt like it was more of a extended episode than a than a movie. Okay, to get into the fun one, three out of ten. This movie should have never been made. I was a fan of the TV show and it ended how it should have. This movie just was made for the money. You guys, this one cracked me up because that's exactly how I feel about and just like that. Then we go on to another three out of ten. As my wife succinctly put it, this is boring. What's a gore-loving horror fan doing watching a flick like this? I hear you ask. And then they wrote in parentheses, I thought the medication was supposed to stop the voices. I really want to be friends with this person. Well, believe it or not, I'm a fan of the series. Um, And so I thought I'd check out the film to see how it made the transition to the big screen. (laughs) That just made me laugh, the voices thing. So we definitely got some mixed reviews on the first one, but let's go into the fun one. Sex in the City 2. Clocking in at a whopping 4.5 out of 10. So the first review we have, awful. Well, I'm a big fan of this show and the first movie. Both are better than this. Sex and the City 2, both as a sequel and on its own terms, was awful. You guys, I feel the same way. There's definitely parts I'm excited to talk about because I am going to break down the second movie. But yeah, it was pretty awful. So the next review is a 1 out of 10. The shadow, shallow and futile adventures of four dysfunctional Americans in Abu Dhabi. You guys, that title really made me laugh. I thought that was pretty fantastic. So another short and to the point one. This one actually gave it a 5 out of 10, but said it's a film neither about sex nor the city. This one could have been written by one of you guys talking about and just like that. It's a 1 out of 10 and it says ruin the legacy of the series. Should have left well enough alone, but the greed got to them. This movie is absolutely pointless and downline, downright embarrassing, let alone as a sequel to the series, Just Stop. I love that review so much. So the next one is also a 1 out of 10. What on earth happened to the girls? Seriously, was there anything else to add to the end of the first film? Absolutely not. But they did it anyway. 
And as a result, it was absolutely devastating, sick, and plain unnecessary. You guys, that one cracked me up. Again, that could have been describing in just like that. Okay, another one out of ten, and it's Sex Goes to Abu Dhabi. Ugh, they're back in the inevitable sequel, but now they go to Abu Dhabi. Pretty much the same thing as Sex One, but with a new location. This one is worse than I could have ever imagined, and it's a one out of ten. This could be the worst movie ever made. Certainly, it's the worst I've seen in a very long time. It's that bad, one out of ten. Other reviewers warned us, but I figured I could handle the crap on a night I need to turn my mind off. Oh boy. (laughs) I love that one. There's a one out of ten called Sex and the Chitty. Uh, It says, I'm a rare breed, a heterosexual male who enjoyed Sex and the City on HBO. This movie, on the other hand, I'll sum it up with the word stinks. Another one out of ten that just says awful. Don't waste your time to watch this. It's just strangely exaggerated advertisement of Abu Dhabi, not a movie at all. And lastly, one out of 10. How is this not on the bottom 100? (laughs) And that's it, you guys. That's all the review, not all of them, but that's the reviews I picked out. There's lots more to read. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's actually really fun to break away from and just like that and to talk about the movie reviews. So if you're into it, let me know. We'll keep going. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I mentioned it in a video over the weekend. In case you didn't see it, I'm doing a collab with a wonderful beauty expert. It's Cat's Eye Beauty and does like mature makeup. She's she's in her 50s and she talks about makeup for a girl that's not in her 20s. Um, But she does makeup for all. So she's fantastic. She's going to be taking our questions about sex in the city makeup and makeup as it relates to all that. The looks of the original series, the looks now, anything you have questions about, she is willing to answer. So send those my way and I'll get them to her and also check out her channel if you're interested check out my patreon if you have questions or comments please leave those below and i will read them all and thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful week and i will talk to you again soon stay healthy bye bye